Hare Krishna. Even if we can't control our emotions, we can control the attention we give to our emotions. Sometimes our emotions come upon us unpredictably. We feel bored, we feel lazy, we feel angry, we feel annoyed. Now when these emotions come upon us, we might just feel as if they're coming of their own accord. And we might feel that we are helpless. So what can we do in such situations? Actually, we can control the attention we give to our emotions. What does that mean? That means that when we pay attention to an emotion, it gains a stronger and stronger hold on us. But if we don't pay too much attention to that emotion, if we continue trying our best to do what we can, that lack of attention to the emotion can weaken that emotion. And even if that lack of attention doesn't weaken the emotion, the emotion is like a wave. It rises and it falls. Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita in the 14th chapter talks about the three modes of material nature. And in the, with regard to the three modes, he states that actually we all are spiritual beings and we are affected by these three modes presently. So he says, Prakasham cha pravrittim cha mohame vacha pandava na dveshti sam pravrittani na nivrittani kaangshati udasi na vadasi nam gunayryo na vichalyate gunavartanti tyeva yovatishtati nengate is that prakasha pravritti and moha that is clarity, hyperactivity and lethargy. These three are induced by the three modes of sattva, rajas and tamas, goodness, passion and ignorance. And when these are induced, what does, what, what does he say we should do? Don't rejoice when they come or don't resent when they go. Conversely, don't resent when they come and don't rejoice when they go. Just be detached. Udasi, navadasi, nam. Just be an observer. So that means we, we note their presence, but we don't give them too much attention. If an unwanted visitor comes and knocks on our door, say, uh, we, we can't drive them away, suppose. If somebody is just outside our premises and they are hawking something, then we may not have the authority to drive them away. They are a hawker advertising some product. But what we could do is, we could choose not to pay attention to them. And we can't not pay attention to something. We can only choose to pay attention to something else. And if we have something purposeful to do, if we have something that is not just purposeful but also attractive for us, and if something is purposeful, attractive and potent, then it can they absorb our attention. And that the Bhagavad Gita recommends is devotional service. Engaging ourselves in the remembrance and service of Krishna. And Krishna recommends that in the 14th chapter, last, uh, later verse, 26, when he says, that Maam Chayo Vyabhicharena Bhakti Yogena Sevate Sagunan Samati Tyaitan Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpate So, when we become fixed in serving Krishna, and focus our energy as much as possible in serving Krishna. And even with distracting, uh, dis the energizing emotions come within us. We don't pay attention to them. We try to pay as much attention as we can to Krishna. Gradually those emotions will wane. And our connection with Krishna and purposeful engagement in his service will strengthen thereby. Thank you. Hare Krishna.